All right. So, hey, Zach, this week we are playing Gravity Circuit. It looks to be a nice Mega Man clone. Mega Man X clone, specifically. Uh, I would almost go so far as to say everyone says X, and I'm like, it's kind of a Z clone. Hmm. I guess we'll find out soon Take enough. But, but Mega Man clearly inspired by... Yeah, Mega no, Man. it's okay. We're arguing that it is, in fact, a Mega Man clone. <laughs> yeah. And we are from MyGamer.com, by the way. And you can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And I'm excited to see what this game is because according to Steam, this game just came out last week. Yeah. Uh, and of it's mine also on Switch, Switch and PS4, too. Sorry, go ahead. I guess a, a developer reached out to a streamer that a friend of mine likes like how roundabout can i describe this and was just like yeah here's the key and the streamer was like yeah you know i was gonna be nice and play it for a little while and then i just kept playing it and playing it and it's he was like yeah dude he played it all night played it all the way through and it looked awesome the entire time yeah. he's like all right then so i feel like there's a lot of 8-bit 16-bit even 32-bit games that are like really good that maybe don't get ripped off enough or closely so for example here's clearly a mega man x slash mega man you know zero kind of clone which should be fantastic why hasn't more people ripped this off i mean maybe we get like mighty number nine which kind of like missed the mark you know what i mean but like let's get let's just like rip this off closely it's, it's mark. already that's a, that's not that's a nice way to describe it, it it's yeah like right mega man x is like kind of a home like even that enemy that you just killed was from Mega Man X like let's rip this off a little bit more closely and just make a good game out of it there it is so you got super attacks you got wall jumps you got wall clinging and you got a grapple hook I mean what else do you need yeah and this is like very reminiscent of several Mega Man X levels yeah this is like the uh, armored armadillo stage, kind of. Oh, you got an up attack, too, huh? Yeah. That was maybe one thing that Mega Man X was missing, is you couldn't directly attack above you. You couldn't directly attack right below you. There was no melee attack, you know. Oh. Well, that was, that so, was yeah. why in uh, X2, um, Metal Man's weapon was so useful, because it could attack Oh, yeah, Mega Man. Yeah, 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 Mega Man. Yeah, the Metal Blade broke the game almost, but in, like, a fun way. Well, I, I, I can, I, like, speed runs. if you, like, watch... Damn, you got smushed. I never said I was good. Um, if you watch speed runs of uh, Mega Man, yeah, Man two, Mega Man two, two you, know, that you you yeah. go, you get the metal blade, and that's all you use. Yes. Yeah, I bought the ZX collection on Xbox when it was on sale for. I was like under ten bucks or something the other week, and I still haven't fired it up yet one of these days that's one of those games where it's like one of these days i'll get to it i just like want to take advantage of this sale so i am i am sure that there are uh mega man purists that would disagree with me on this but uh play through the z games on the easy mode that they have included oh man For, i remember playing i played a little bit of one maybe two on gba and thinking like i am getting my ass absolutely destroyed so yeah, easy mode and save states will be welcome features in those games. I, I bought the Z collection on DS, DS when that came out. Yeah. Yep. And I played through all of those games and I really, really liked them. Um, yeah. And like, it was, it was Mega Man with a plot, basically. Um, yeah. You know, not that many, yeah, you know, anyway. There was like um, a hub hub world and stuff like that, you know, like a slight Metroid-ish. Yeah, it, it definitely was like had Metroid-ish characteristics. In like the best way. I was gonna say you gotta use that grapple hook, but this guy with his shield.
Yeah, but I mean, like, who doesn't like a good Mega Man game, you know? It's just kind of simple, run-and-gun action. You get some wall jumps in there. It's fantastic. Uh, can you shoot the... I, I, you shoot him enough I, to I, I can punch him, but... Oh, you can. There you go. Oh... I have an ultimate attack I could probably charge through with. Mm. Yeah, I have not heard about this game. So when you said, hey, I got this cool new Mega Man clone game, I was like, hmm, I'm interested. Yeah, I never said I was good at Mega Man games. No, and I haven't heard of this developer or this publisher. The yeah, I think developer, it might be the first one. Yeah, domestic, domesticated ant games, and then the publishers, PID games. No, I can't Never say that heard I heard of either of one of them. Yeah. No, this is. It, it it's fifteen dollars. Yeah, it's uh, it's sixteen ninety nine, but right now there's a ten percent discount, so it's just over fifteen bucks. What? Yeah, it's. It's good, and they there's a lot. You can tell there's a lot of effort put into it, and a lot of love mm -hmm. for the Mega Man franchise. So, I mean, honestly, at this point, if you're a Mega Man fan, it, Capcom's not fucking doing anything with it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they released the last thing I think was was the Legacy collections and the Z, uh, the Zero collection. Uh, yes. And I like the collections. The collections are good. They are good. I mean, that, that's the right way to do it. I mean, I, I, I think they're great compilations. You get the whole series for one low price. You know, I think it's they are good compilations. Because even though some of like the bad Mega Man games that are not as good as others, they're still Mega Man and they're still like of similar quality. Now you can nitpick all you want, but it's still Mega Man. There we go. <laughs> and then jump on the spike. Son of a bitch. Now, look, the question is, is did that save, you know, like the, the uh, that robot? Maybe, maybe? Yeah. Some games are like that, where if you collect the item and then you die, the item is still collected. You don't have to re-get it. But sometimes there's games where even if you collect it and die before you get to the checkpoint, you got to do it all over again. Yeah, I guess we're going to find out pretty quick. I guess we'll find out, yeah. Yeah, I was just playing. There's a game series called Sword and Swords and Bones. It's a very simple, just run to the right action platformer with these bite-sized levels that are you know less than 60 seconds long. And there's a there's a secret um not really a, i guess i couldn't should call it a secret but there's an item that you can get in every stage and if you get all those extra optional items then you get like access to the good ending and they have a system where if you grab it as soon as you grab it it's yours forever you do not need to recollect it even if you die and so like i bring that up because like oh, i'm just kind of finishing up playing through this game and I like how I don't, you know, don't make me re grab this thing that's kind of maybe out of the way a little bit. All right. I am in better shape this time mm -hmm. being here than I was last time. So, yay. T takes a little bit of practice. Yeah, I mean, that, a that is. That is kind of a dickish enemy placement. Like, let's put the guy with the shield right in front of this really tricky jump where these things are pushing against you. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. you got it. There you go. Sweet. I mean, it's a Mega Man game. Dickish placement is sort of. Yes, so that's what part they of do. it. Yeah. It wouldn't be Mega Man. It wouldn't be Ninja Gaiden without a little bit of assholishness going on. That might have been a false wall. I wasn't taking the. 
I was just gonna say that looks like it could have been something there, but you gotta need like a good dash move to get over there or something. Or grapple hook. There you go, slide. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah, these walls take a beating. Like they, they're like one hit too many to destroy. There you go. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Oh, fucking uh, finally. The checkpoint. Yeah, it's got a currency system so you can get some upgrades. It makes it worthwhile then to like fight all the common enemies if they drop stuff. Otherwise, yeah. you can just, like jump over them. There's a lot of games that do that where fighting, which is like the main thing to do, becomes obsolete because there's no point. Like you get no bonus. Like even that that even that stopper things from Mega Man. Like almost directly. Same thing with this guy. Get the mech armor, the ride armor, I think they call it. I had the right armor. You had the right armor, yeah. Oh, oh no, I thought that was another one, but nope, that's just the stopper enemy that you're going to have to swing over. Oh, you're trying to cut through, push him down the hole. There you go. But is he going to respawn? Nope. No. That's on me. That was on you. Uh-oh. Swing over him. I grabbed a brick as it was falling. <laughs> I saw that. I didn't even know you could do that. So stuff like that, it's I, I it, there there's there is like advanced movement that let's just say I'm not going to be able to do. Yeah, and there was another gap there where you had to kind of like dash in between those spikes, so you know there's going to be some type of a dash move upgrade or an ability that you have to purchase. Yeah. See how long I can keep the stomper. Yeah, you gotta... The ride armor is key here. Oh shit, if things even run into me, they get... Well, I did what I could. <laughs> Can you lure this guy forward and then, yeah, I was just going to say maybe grapple over him. This one you gotta maybe just muscle through, just take a hit. Uh, you mean that thing that you just told me to do? Yeah, I was gonna say try to in 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 your you know one second of invincibility time squeak by, but it was not to be. Those things are giving me less money too every time. Yeah, it could be one of those things like a like the more you die, the yeah. less you get. Yeah, just to prevent like grinding in like the first level. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think uh Shovel Knight kinda had a little mechanic like that too. Ooh, nice. Everything I wanted. Now you can beat the crap out of this. There you go. Should it? Oh, that's how you got to do it. Yes, yeah, so you need to right. So there's maybe not a crazy dead. Now you got to hop out. Slide. Oh, you had it! 
Oh, I put you right there. Dang, look at that. A nice checkpoint. There it is. You're like, I just painted myself into a corner here. I need to yeah. double jump on the wall to stay alive. that's a thing that happened it puts you below yeah it's the last i think it, what it is is it's the last solid ground that you touched mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of conveyor belts on this stage It gets more expensive to use those every time. I was going to say, yeah. Then you get two checkpoints per level, not just one. Oh, nice. Gotta swing below this. Can you do like a long hanging swing? Oh! That's why there is a checkpoint the, there. Yes. At least they kind of knew what was going on. I don't know how you get over that. That's kind of a... Like a, like in Bionic Commando Rearm, you can like hang and then if you push down, then you can like, you know, extend it. Yeah, there you yeah, go. That's what you got to do right there. Yes. There it is. Nicely done. Oh, that one's tough because you have to keep swinging against the yeah. dickish move, but they put the checkpoint right there. And you're still alive. There you go. You got the momentum. Keep it going. There it is, boss. Wait, wait, yeah. Oh, I was just going to say. See, there you go. Good eye. Where's the checkpoints, the question? Back where the... Right, right at the lip. Oh. Because you, you have to pay to use the checkpoints. Mm. And that cyborg human guy needed your help. You can't just leave him there. It upsets me that I know you're right. Otherwise, he's just going to be stuck in that corner for all eternity. How did he get up there in the first place? Ooh. All right, here we go. I've stopped caring. <laughs> he is going to be stuck there for all eternity. Ooh, that guy slapped you right in the mouth. And then that guy kills you. I didn't even see him until it was too late. Yeah. All right. So what do you think about this game, sir? I mean, I think it's pretty good. It's a nice Mega Man clone, but the difficulty factor is there. Clearly. Well, it's a Mega Man clone. So it's, a Mega, it's a Mega Man clone, but it's one that I think is done right. I mean, this is just the first of, I think, what, maybe there's eight stages on that map when we first and started. probably a boss. Probably a boss, boss rush mode. So yeah, here's a game. Here's a $15 game, $16 game that'll, you know, test your... Your classic retro action platforming abilities. So I like it. I mean, I think this is a, a game that was made with care. They basically said, okay, let's take Mega Man, like the best parts of it, and then improve upon it a little bit. That's why you get the grapple. That's why you get the, uh, you know, the dash move. You get upgrading abilities, things like that. 
So it seems like they kind of did their homework and really... I mean, the sprites and stuff even look like they belong in a Mega Man game. So, I like it. So yeah, you could check us out at mygamer.com. This has been Gravity Circuit. It's currently on sale for 10% off, about 15 bucks on Steam. It's also available on PlayStation and Switch. And you can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.